Hey guys, what's up? This is Blake with SmartHomeSD.com. Today I'm going to show you um, and talk about LED light bulbs and Z-Wave dimmer switches. I've been having a lot of questions on which dimmer switches work with LED bulbs and, and whatnot. And it really comes down to how much wattage you have on one circuit. So this is my kitchen. Um, this is the only place in the house where I have an LED bulb with halogen bulbs. I have halogen track lighting up top and I have two LED bulbs right here. Um, these are just standard 9.5 watt uh, LED bulbs um, and I just want to show you they're hooked up to a CA six, or a Intermatic CA 600 light switch and you can see how they dim off and uh, come on pretty quick. Really nice setting. I'll show you how I can dim them here. So you'll, you'll notice that the, uh, the halogens, you won't see it right now, but the halogens are a little bit dimmer than um, the LEDs, but I can dim them down a little bit more, and you can kind of see how they're, they're, they are definitely dimmer, so I'm going to turn it back on. Um, the next thing I want to show you is how important it is that you have at least 40 watts on your circuit for LED light bulbs to work with a Z-Wave dimmer switch, and this is across the board. This is uh, GE, Evolve, um, Leviton, uh, Cooper. All Z-Wave dimmer switches right now, they do not work very well with LED lights. So you're going to see a lot of feedback on Amazon, eBay, other blog sites. Um, you know, people are having issues with LED lights. So I, this is why I'm making this video is to kind of clarify and show you what you need to do or how you can make these actually work. And I'm also coming up with something else that um, will possibly make these work uh, a little bit easier with like a resistor or something like that. Um, but that's, a, that's another uh, video. So I want to show you now, I'm going to go up to my track light and I'm actually going to pop these track lights out and I'm going to show you how um, how my LED lights are affected. So when I pop these these halogens off nothing's going to happen to my LED right off the bat. So those are full power LEDs right now. Now as soon as I go ahead and dim them um, or turn them off, you'll see, you'll see the most problems that I have when I turn them off. There's no, more, um, there's no more resistance in the line anymore where the because the LEDs use so much less power. So let me go ahead over here and I'm going to turn them all the way down with a button. Now you can kind of see how they flicker. Um, they're trying to get used to that power, and that's where they will stay. This is no power going to them, um, except for the little bit of draw that they do draw from the, the dimmer switches, but that is normal. That's across the board. Any dimmer switch you're going to have, you're going to see this problem. Um, so I'm going to turn them all the way back up now. Actually, I want to dim them up so you can see. So that's full power right there. Um, so what it really comes down to is the amount of, uh, of wattage you have on one circuit. Um, and then when I, I'm going to go ahead and dim them back down and then put the halogen back in there. And now you're going to be able to see how they react to just one light bulb added to the circuit. Now these halogens are 55 watts. So 55 plus the nine plus the other nine, um, that's uh, 75 about. So what happens is once I bring it up above that 40 watt threshold, um, the lights should work fine when they're all the way down. Um, I've had a lot of complaints about people, you know, not so much complaints. Some people use them as night lights. All right, so there's one. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way off. Hold on, I shouldn't do that. Let me make sure this halogen's in there properly. It wasn't. Let's see here. There we go. So now I'm going to turn them all the way off. And there you have it. They are all off now. That's just with one light bulb. So um, how you can how you can make this work in your own house. You can have more than one LED, which I do, but you would actually need, with these bulbs, you would need 
I would say at least five of them on one circuit. I wouldn't feel comfortable running them with four. You're kind of taking a chance of them not working because um, they are 9.5. And some of the switches, their thresholds might be a little bit less, a little bit more than, than others. Um, the best luck that I've had actually is with the GE and the Intermatic. Um, the Evolve, uh, you guys should know this, but the Evolve is actually just it's the same switch as the GE, just with the Evolve uh, logo and, uh, and price tag. So, you know, if you're going to pick between two, I would pick between the Intermatic and the GE, especially at their price points. Um, you can't really go wrong. So there you have it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, hit me up. Uh, go ahead and take a look at my uh, eBay store, e-commerce, and thank you.